We start this afternoon with breaking news. A missing woman recently found is missing again. Nampa police identify her as 26 year old Megan Hitt. Officers say she's been confused recently due to medical issues. If you see Megan, call Nampa police. Right now, Ontario police are looking for several people who may know something about a man who was shot to death. KBOI 2 Sarah Jacobson is live near the home where the man was found. Sheriff's deputies detained two Valley View Middle School students today after they say they found a BB gun on a bus. The Canning County Sheriff's Office says a student told the principal once the bus parked at the school. The principal put the school on lockdown immediately. Making sure all the teachers know that there's a lockdown, locking all the classrooms, pulling the shades, covering all the windows, and having students hide in an area that keeps all of our students and staff out of uh, view of any harm or threat that might be coming. Deputies say they found the gun and they say there was never any threat to the school. You may have seen a lot of police cars and star this morning. Here's what we've uncovered about the commotion. Officers were called to a report of a possibly armed suicidal man behind a tire shop. When officers arrived, they say no one was there. After searching, police cleared the scene. Let's take a live look outside today. It is a bit cooler out there and you'll notice the cloud cover. That indicates that change is coming. Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham is here to tell us what to expect through the weekend. Hi, Natalie. We now know when President Trump and the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will meet in a historic summit. The two leaders will gather in Singapore on June 12th. The announcement comes on the heels of three U.S. prisoners returning to America. President Trump greeted them just this morning. All three were held in North Korea for more than a year. This is a wonderful thing that he released the folks early. That was a big thing, very important to me. And I really think we have a very good chance of doing something very meaningful. The president also took a moment to remember Otto Warmbier, the American student detained in North Korea who died last June. This will be the first North Korea-U.S. summit talks since the end of the Korean War.